to this episode of What Hole. Yes, sir. You made it. Yep, I did. I did. Went late. You been busy? Yep, been pretty busy. Good, I am too. That, that serves you right. You ought to be I've busy. I've been in Nashville and back already this morning. Is that right? Yes, sir. State troopers, did y'all hear what he just said? <laughs> it ain't that late in the morning. You must I was incognito. I was oh, kind of oh. like a flash. Yep, the flash. <laughs> the flash. He was here and now he's gone. Yeah. Go, go, go ahead and do it. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Perfection Leather, a division of the Winter Circle. Our high quality products are handcrafted at our manufacturing facility in Shelbyville, Tennessee, using the very finest Wicked and Craig bridle and harness leather. All hides are thoroughly inspected to ensure consistent thickness and a smooth finish. They are also examined for any imperfections that would reduce the quality of our products. After inspection of the hides, each piece is hand cut or die cut to the product's precise specifications. Each component is then assembled by an experienced craftsman. The assembled product is then stitched by an experienced operator using state-of-the-art lock stitch machinery. The stitch product is then finished and hand polished to their completion. After completion, each product is carefully inspected for quality assurance. All of Perfection Leather products are available at the Winter Circle Horse Supply. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. 
If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> All righty, I got some announcements to make. Uh, the Fast Showcase is this Friday and Saturday night in Shelbyville, Tennessee. If you want any information, call Sarah Smith at 931-580-5085. Showtime is at 6 p.m. Judges, Derek Bonner, Wayne Dean, and Jamie Lawrence. East Tennessee Spring Fling is 21st and 22nd in McDonald, Tennessee, called Bill Daltrey. 423-836-3607. Start time is 6 p.m. Cindy Bryant, Amber Zan, and Gary Wayne Smith will mark the cards at that show. And then later this month, the Spring Extravaganza. It's going to be at the Ag Center. You can call Carol Misseldine, 919-437-437. 6597. Start time is 4 p.m. Scott Beatty is going to mark the cards. Got, got, got to stop it from ringing. Busy and then uh, Upper Cumberland Walking Horse Show is April 29th. And that's while the one's going on at the Ag Center. Heidenberg Agricultural Pavilion in Cookville, Tennessee. Jimmy Sherrill. 615-464-5047. Start time at that show is 5 p.m. And Sam Sara is going to be the judge. Yep. I'll have to return this call in just a minute. So, everything else is cooking, right? Yep. Everything's mm -hmm. going well? Everything's going good. Going real good. People calling while we're on the show? Yeah. But that's good because that's about the horse show we're going to have next month. <laughs> Matter of fact, Lane Leverett calls the other night. He says, hey, says, uh, I want to bring a couple of horses over there on the 13th to show. And uh, he said, I'm sorry I couldn't be the ringmaster. He said, but I had family duties. I told him, I said, what are you talking about? He said, Thursday night, the 13th. I said, it's May 13th, Lane. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was getting way ahead of Lane. Yeah. But there's a lot going on right now in the horse. Oh, yeah, it is. We got it a, is. a lot of things going on. They, uh, I know the, they're looking at the rules again. And, you know, uh, Jerry, I, I just wish that we could come up with a, a way that, that you, you look at a horse, and in my opinion, and you may be different. I want your opinion, too. A horse come up there, walk the cones, Looks good. Shouldn't let him go. Leave him alone. It makes no no sense. And this scar rule to me is a complete joke. Matter of fact, I had some people. There was a meeting over in Shelby. I'm not sure about the meeting, but they was uh, talking about the scar rule and all the data that Frank Eichler had got. Yes. That it was a a sure win. I mean, and you look back when when they did that scar rule thing. It was twenty nine horses, fifty eight biopsies, and no scars, none. So if if we could win that, I don't see why we don't do it. Yeah, you're, you're right. Because that, I mean that's the basis for everything else. They they talk about the pads hurting the horse it's been proven the pads do no harm to the horse the action advice hurts the action advice doesn't hurt the horse uh just one thing right after another my biggest thing i just wish they had a, a thing whatever they call was a scar rule or whatever they come have something wrote out a picture or whatever what you're looking at because the scar rule from different people change from week to week yep <laughs> every time you come up is a different way and you know, if somebody had an idea of what they were looking for, then they'll know what horse to take and what horse not to take to the horse show. Well, if you had some kind of... If you remember though, when they had 
When we had the ability to, if a VMO turned your horse down, you could request another VMO look. Yes. They agreed to that because they were so sure that they knew. But when they started arguing with their self about what the scar was, or if there was a scar, or if there wasn't a scar, well, we ain't gonna do that no more. So my thing is this, if a DQP checks a horse and he does not find a scar, and then he has to argue with the VMO who decides there is a scar, if there was a scar there, the DQP could see it. I just don't, I just don't get it. And I believe, and in, in all my heart, I believe the USDA doesn't get it either. Yes. I believe they do it because somebody is applying pressure to them to show that we're, that we're not what we're supposed to be. Well, the thing mm -hmm. of it with me is too, a scar does not grow hair. If you got to point hair and move hair to find something, I mean, it's, you ain't it's got not, no scar. You don't have no scar. That's fact. I mean, I got. I mean, scars. if you have a scar, and a scar gonna be on it, on your body for the rest of your life. That's it. I have a scar when I got when I was six years old, and I'm 52 years old, and I still got that same scar. Well, I'm just had older than you, and I still got scars from playing with knives and everything else. But it, it just doesn't make any difference. If, if there's if there is a scar there, everybody can see it, and and that's the only thing I'm saying. So the, the BMOs, they, they can argue about it, and, and they know. I mean, they know when they look that there's no scar there. And then I heard someone mention that rubs. Rub is not a scar. And I, I don't know. I just, to me, I just, and, and I just believe that people are applying pressure. It's kind of like all this stuff we used to go through with Clant C, and then after Clint C passes away, some of the people that actually worked with him and pushed his agenda, they admitted that the abuse was done by Clint C. Yeah. That he was the one that was doing it to show people what everybody else had done. And it is, I don't know. It, it seems to me like we have BMOs come in here with uh, their mind made up when they get here, and that they don't want to change. It's like the the independent vets once said, "This is not what we thought we were going to see." Period. We got some video here of a stud. Well, it's not the stud; it's an offspring of a stud, a full brother to I am Jose. Jose. Mm -hmm. Same bloodline, same mother, same father. And here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes. Now I'm gonna tell you that's a that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now I tell you, got all got a lot of talent. That Hero horse does. And I mean, he's the same. He's a full brother to I am Jose. So you figure you got top and bottom, same bloodline and everything else. So I mean, he's a he's a real nice horse. Hey hey. He, and he, and he a big done. horse. He can get it. He's beautiful. Yeah. I, tell, I looked at him in the stall. We're going to get him out and, and get him to park out. Yeah, We're going to get us a good get picture some of, it. of it. Also, I was there the other day and we got some video of an honor stud. Now, this honor stud is four years old, right? Yes. Uh huh. Now, that, that's my baby. That's a baby horse there. <laughs> I sent that one by mistake. <laughs> but there, there's another one that. Uh, a four-year-old that's out there that we'll we'll get video of it next week. I thought we had it this week, but next week uh -huh. we'll get it. All right, what else we got? Oh, walking in the Smokies. Victory passes. Me and Pocahontas and Allison Armstrong with Tyler Balkum won the Pro-Am class. I believe they are, they are top of that Pro-Am class with that horse safety. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. I, they're undefeated. They've never been beat. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That, that might be a team we see for some time. 
And right here is one that I'm, I was very glad to do, Jen Shadow and Baron Witherspoon. Yes. I tell you, it, it's a pleasure. Baron's a whole lot of fun to talk to. Oh, he is. Now. Very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Soft-spoken gentleman, but I mean very knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. He, he's very soft-spoken. Amateur stay in class. And loved them horses. He loved the good oh, horse shows and it. support it. Oh, he, he, was, he was telling me about it now. He, he does. He's a big supporter of the kids. Oh, yeah, he is. He that, that's him. one thing yeah. I really like about him. He supports the youth. Uh -huh. And that he's the sponsor for our show in Lynchburg. Yeah. Sure is. Oh, by the way, we had to change caters because the 4-H has already got a commitment on May the 13th. So we got one of your buddies that's uh, Bailey Smokers. Smokers. It's good. It's very good. Well, I, I, I checked them out, and everybody says, hey, make your tongue slap your brains out. Yes, it is so good. You're right. Is it that good? It's good. It's, it's that good. good. I smell it all over by my house and everything else. Everybody, when he cooks, everybody come outside. You can smell it. Get out there and get full on the air. All right, let's go to. Whoa, we got to take a big. Uh, we got to go to commercial. If I'm if I'm right here, yeah, we got to take a commercial. We'll be right back after <laughs> these messages. <laughs> gentlemen as you know I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse but I also have another passion and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money and we've done automobile dealerships shoe stores law offices dentist offices even the breeders association I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida and now for a limited time I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. We're going to turn back the hands of time. We got the fast showcase coming this weekend. So what we did was we went back to 2022 and we're going to show some classes from last year. Yeah. 
because it, it, they had a great oh, show. Oh, they had a good show. Yep. They had a real good show last year, and I'm hoping they have the same thing this year. Right here is your amateur four-year-old mares. Jen's Lucky Penny and Janie Chapman took the blue. Made to honor, Lisa Baum was reserved. Tammy Jones, Noah Botch, take a chance on me. Had Thompson into the wild blue yonder. Kerry Arrington, the Birdman of Alcatraz, Amelia Hesseldine, the Mandalorian, Dean Broom Yoder, and Jose's Taboo. I wonder how many of those will be back this year. I say Noah Botch will be there. On Tammy Jones? I don't know. I'm going to say probably. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't remember seeing Tammy Jones that much last year after the fast show. But I know there's going to be a bunch of them. Now, yeah. Hayden, he he will be showing a bunch of different horses yes. this year, I'm sure. And of course, D. Broom Yoder, D. always, always out there showing horses. Yeah. Here, I want to get back to the day where them stands packed full. Yes, I do too. I mean, uh... All right, take a chance on me, Hayden Thompson. That was a Kathy Lewis's horse. Hayden's a fine young oh, man. Yeah, he now. Is. He, he's a and he is an excellent rider. Yeah. He gets the job done. I know he had a bunch cheering for him, most of them young ladies, though. So. <laughs> he's, he's a nice young man. Right here, your Tweeba Youth Medallion Canter Class. Now, this is something I want everybody to watch because this is what we're holding the youth show for in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Yes. Is to support more of these youth medallion classes. And we did not have any in our show because that's what we're raising money right. for. Yeah. And there are very few kids enter this, and we want more of them to. <coughs> Evening at the Palm and Lanny Munnix won this one. Cash Reaction in Finley Grace Brooks was reserved. Jose's Chatterbox, John Garrett Burton. Finished out the ribbons in this class. There's three of them in there. We need more of these classes. Oh, yeah. We need more youth classes. And as I've said all along, I'd love to see some competition out there for extreme cowboy competition. Need to bring a lot of that camera back, you know. A lot of these shows. I, I, I love the canter, and I will be honest, our horses do not canter like they used to. But here's the winner, Evening at the Palm and Lanny Mullet. Mullet. I cannot pronounce that last name. Mullinex. Bill Bobo trains that horse. Yes. Happy young lady right there. Oh yeah, it is. 
And right, right here is one of my favorite classes. This you use pony class, the hoss. And Allie Joe Jacobs takes the blue in this class with I'm Big Enough and Maxine Beasley Reserve. Then you had Lily Waits and Daniel Cazares finishing out the ribbons. But I tell you, those two top horses, oh, yeah. the horse and I'm Big Enough, them two good ones right there. Uh huh. Now there's going to be a lot more competition in there this year, though. Oh yeah. So you got Allie Joe, she'll be on Switchblade, and uh, Eli, he's he's got him a good pony now too. Mm hmm. So going to be competition, buddy. Girls right there, the Beasley girls, they'll be. Oh, Lord. Around, they, hey, they're they're always nervous. in the thick of things. Oh, yeah. It always amazes me watching Allie Joe because yeah. she is so petite that <laughs> on them big horses. Uh huh. Yeah. Right there he is, the Hoss and Allie Joe Jacobs. Donna Kay Head owns that horse. Yep. There's I am big enough reserved. That's two good ponies. Oh, yeah, right real there. good ponies. Two real good ones. Maxine's a good rider yes. too, buddy. Now she can set that saddle. We need more people in the stands. Right, there's amateur show pleasure. Do I have to tell you who won this one? No. <laughs> you can guess. Oh yeah. Right there he is. Mm -hmm. Epic. And Megan Hammond took the blue. The Nightcrawler, Sister Milligan. Ted Hoot, Donald Turner. Titleist remembered, Bailey McCormick. Finished out the ribbons, but this year, now I'm gonna bet money. Megan ain't gonna be riding Epic this year. I bet money too she won't. <laughs> but I bet she's in the thick of it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew eventually somebody's gonna slip over and talk Mike into selling that horse. Yeah. But when you've done what Megan's done with it, I mean, you, she can't, there's nothing else she, she can, can do, do with that, that horse. That's right. She exactly won it right. all. She won a lot of stuff with that horse. It's a good class of horses, oh, yeah. too. Right there he is. Epic. And Megan has won it all. So now, Somebody else gonna be riding. Oh yeah. We will see. Mm -hmm. 
nice horse. Yeah, he is, Betty. I wonder if he kept the same trainer or if they moved him to another. He got trainer. the same trainer. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Amateur mares and gildings. Yeah. Right here, hey, I bet you money. Let me get over here to the amateur mares and gildings. You know, a nice class here, too. Oh, Lord, yeah. But you can see who all was in there? Yeah. Uptight Jose took the blue with Bruce McDonald. Miss Stone Cash, Noah Botch was reserved. A master degree, Jacqueline Way. Harley Quinn, Beth Collins. Jose's Lily Rose got two. Undercover boss, Debbie Eichler. Reservation Online, Gail Holcomb. And Jen's Not Kidding, Sister Milligan finished out the ribbon. However, it was uptight Jose. Yeah. Now, I heard that he sold uptight, is that right? Oh yeah, I think so, I think so. And, Well, I know how rumors go around. I have not seen any announcement that someone new is in the saddle. Yeah. But I do know that the rumors get started. You know, I thought Debbie Eichler and the undercover boss in this class right here, I thought she made a real good show. I thought she made a real good show too. Debbie does a good job out there riding them horses. She rides them constantly. Yeah. There goes Noah. Yeah. I like it, Mary. I really oh, yeah. do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald. Mayors and Gilding. Boy, that horse has been in the blue many a time. Oh yeah, that's a nice horse. Right there, three-year-old stallions. Now this one was was a good one. And we'll, we will definitely see the winner of this class again, but I do not believe Jimmy will be in the saddle. Voyager and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons yeah. took the blue. Walk in Faith, R.M. Kelly for Jack Rader. Honor me now, Dale Watts for Douglas Hart. He's Mr. Maverick, Bill Calloway for Holcomb and Masters. Brett Maverick, Winky Groover, Big Show Syndication. Just deal with it, Amber Zan, Wayne and Sandra Barnes. The Black Panther, Dan Waddell for Andy Rippey. And the final ribbon went to Time for Honors, Justin Harris for Marella Fuger. Fuger. But the Voyager, now we, we're going to see him, but oh, yeah. I, I do believe that the one we see on his back is going to be Mr. Paul Simmons. I would say so. That's a nice horse, the Voyager is. Hey, he's tough now. He is tough. You know, if, when you watch the years go by and you watch horses change, we. We, you'll see horses in the open division end up in the amateur division. Mm -hmm. yeah. And horses in the amateur division will be upgraded to the back to the open mm -hmm. division. Yeah. 
to be contenders for the World Grand Champions. Championship. Yeah, you're right. One that stands out mostly in my mind, Mayhem. Yeah. Now, he, he was a great amateur horse. Went right on. Voyager and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons, your three-year-old stallion winner. It's a nice one right That's there, buddy. That's a nice horse. Nice horse. Gets it done. That's the main yeah. thing. That's what it's all about. Getting it done. Amateur stallions. Hey, this right here was a good one. Oh, yeah. I mean, this was tough class. All about Jose and Jackie Watley took the blue. The legal tender and Sherry Bonner. The night king and Jeff Smith. He's Whiskey Cavalier and Joyce Myers. Right there. Tell you what, yeah. these are good horses oh, in good this horses. class yeah, now. Some good horses in that class. There's Jeff. Yeah. I like that night king horse. Yeah. He's he, a pretty horse too. There's Sherry Bonner. She's getting it done. I'll tell you what, these amateurs can flat ride. Oh, yeah. You don't believe it, just stand back and watch them. But there he is. All about Jose and Jackie Watley. Sure. Real nice horse. Jackie, she loves to ride the horse that she's been in for a long time. Oh, yeah. She's an attorney. Yes. Mm hmm. I used to train horses for a while back. Here's your amateur canter class. Now, this one's a good one. Brain Power and Jake Jacobs took the blue. NBS and Kim Leonard was reserved. A Dixie General and Laura Money. Cash Goodwife, Paul Simmons. Finished out the ribbons, but four good ones in there. But that oh, yeah. brain power, I'm telling you, I, I've always liked that horse. Yeah. Always liked him. And I believe Jake has sold him to someone else who's showing him now. Yeah. Um, did Captain Baker buy him back? She might have bought him back. I know this. I know he's back at Dick's, and I know. In, in, this, in this industry, People, when they see a good one, they want him. They'll sell him, <laughs> then buy him back. I tell you, old big people now, he, he's got that horse number. Yes, now, he, he does. I mean, that ain't no one else can work that horse like Dick can. But Dick's one of the top trainers in our industry. Oh, yeah, he's There's doing, no doubt he does a good job. But that brain power and Jake Jacobs for Ali Joe Jacobs. You know, we got a lot of horse trainers, but now Dick Peoples is one of the best ones. You got a lot of horse maintainers, so you don't yeah. have them, but there's a few horse trainers, and That's Dick is right. one of the ones that in, in that horse training. He's one that can right. figure yeah. out a problem, buddy. Mm -hmm. If there's something that can be worked out with a horse, Dick Peoples is going to find it. There's, a, there's a quite a few of them that's what you call horse trainers out there. Oh, yeah. Getting the job done, yeah, that's the main that's thing. The you got to get the job yeah. done. I'm going to look at our timesheet. 
And it's time for you to do your thing, though. I'm going to tell you right now, he's fixing to pop it up there on that screen. We'll be right back after these messages. See? <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. But you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal, 931-680-0897. in the amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're back, and we're going to go get some more uh, video from last year because we fast had one heck of a show. Oh, last yeah, they year. did. Yeah, they really show. did. And I'm hoping that they turn right around this year and have it all over again. So here we go. We're going to start off, I believe we're going to start with the Youth Pony Class, I believe. What did I say? That's yeah. youth uh, led me under. I was wrong. We already had pony class. <laughs> right there was a horse that won it. Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs takes the blue. And just getting started, Brindley Boyce was reserved. Good horse right there. Oh yeah, real good horse. Right there's your winner, Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. 
That's walking horse, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good horse right there. I might can see in the future that Allie Joe might end up being some kind of horse trainer. You know, <laughs> some you can't ever tell. I think I think she she that likes that way. <laughs> she she sets her mind to something. She's ready to go. Yeah. She got a good seat. I mean, ride all different kind of type of horses. You know, from pleasure to padded to equitation. Yeah. Well, they got a breeding facility over there now, so she may end up as a master breeder. Yeah. All right, here's your four-year-old open. All right, there was your reserve horse. Just can't tell me nothing. And Justin Harrison, right here was your winner. Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell from Mike Floyd. Like that name. Yeah. Boone's Gin. Must have some Boone's Farm wine. <laughs> Right there he is, four-year-old open winner, Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell from Mike Floyd. Walking and talking right there, buddy. I can see that him as one of the horse trainers. Yep. Oh, yeah. Instead of, Jimmy will figure it out. That's what I'm saying. Now right here, this four-year-old counter class, I tell you, this is when he set the tone. Yeah. Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacob family took the blue. Entitled to a secret, Drew Gray's for Jerry Sue Albright. And it's who I am, Dale Watts, for Jonathan Watts. But this right here set the tone for Mr. True Blue, which I'm gonna to have to say after the trainer show, has to be one of the favorites for the World Grand Championship yeah. this year because he just keeps walking. Oh yeah. You know he's been he was at the present presented the flag at MTSU. They had him in Nashville for Ag Day. He's just a great ambassador. Oh, yeah. He is one great ambassador for this industry. And he's a walking horse. That's, that's, I mean, 100%. Right there he is, Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family. Our current world, four-year-old world <laughs> grand champion. Yeah. Now I like that counter right there. Mm -hmm. He's got all three gates. <laughs> and that's, it's hard to find one that's got a good all three gates. Flat walk, running walk, and a canter. Nice boy. All right, you 12 to 17. What can I say? Super Bowl MVP and BB Beasley took the blue. The Phenom, Colton Trimble was reserved. I made Dixie Diva. Anne Marie Beard, she's throwing shade. Storm Sims, and homepage, Jay Parker Watts finished ribbons but a Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue.
you know, that horse been around for some time. Oh, yeah. And, and gets it done. He flat gets it done. Horses in that one. Uh huh. That girl loved to ride. Yeah, love to ride now. They <coughs> I tell you what, they got several good horses. Oh, yeah. Amateur 50 and over. This was a good class. A king thing and Bob Adcock took the blue. Mr. Far Real, Paul Simmons was reserved. And the American bobster, Linda Shrivener, finished out the ribbons. Three real good horses. Oh, yeah. Like to get it done, don't oh, yeah, they? Yeah, that's, that's a good horse right there. Oh yeah, all of, all of the horses in there are real good horses. I tell you what, nowadays when we go to a horse show, we see ninety percent good horses. Yeah. Now you you'll have you know you'll have that percentage out there that's not that good a horse. Yeah. But. Two good horses right oh, yeah. there. <clears throat> You're right. Here's your walking horse state class. Now th this is one that's wild. Joe Paul. Took the blue with Winky Grivler. Gr Winky Groover. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I spit that one out wrong. Winky Groover for Strickland and Porterfield. Walking Mr. Charlie, Sam Martin for Terry and Lee Smith. Terry and Lisa Smith. Twisted with honors, R.M. Kelly, for Mr. and Miss Howard Eastridge. And former line, Josh Watts for Ann and Chris Mills. Now, Twisted with Honors has been sold to yes. Allison Armstrong mm -hmm. and going to be mainly, it will be Pro-Am and Amateur Division. Yeah. Walking Mr. Charlie, still open, but Joe Paul. Joe Paul has been amateur, open, back to amateur, and now he's back in the open. Yeah. But this year, he's not going to be in the counter class. He's going to be in the specialty. Okay. Now that's according to Shane, who now owns all of it. Yeah. And he's out there breeding too. So he's won world championships, world grand championships. And still going. There he is, Joe Pa and Winky Groover. For Shane Porter right now, Porterfield. Yep.
as a horse, Winky and him get along real well with each yeah, other. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But you'll find in this industry, trainers will get along real great with some, some horses, horses yeah. mm -hmm. and not others. And I mean, some of them is just, you have to get in there and battle with them. Oh yeah. But once they once they settle in, or you find that niche, I remember I was told one time that a horse that couldn't couldn't win nothing, they changed the shoeing on him, and then he couldn't be beaten. Yeah, so you're right. Mike Sims told me that, mm -hmm. and he said he just shocked him. Said all they did was make. And, and another one is uh, uh, Mayor Bill. Yeah. Now he he was in the in the state class, and he would win some, but not. But now they put that part shoe on him. Oh, he went all the time. Hey, hey, yeah. man, he'd just get out of my way. Here I come. Yeah. You're exactly so that, right. That's good. Well, we're looking forward to a big weekend. Again, Fast Showcase starts tomorrow night. It'll be Friday and Saturday night. But no, that's Friday night. I've was, I, yeah. I was got on up in the week. I got too much on my mind. Call Sarah Smith. 931-580-5085. Showtime each night is 6 p.m. Derek Bonner, Wayne Dean, and Jamie Lawrence will mark the cards. I tell you what, I've seen Jamie judge. Jamie Lawrence is a good judge. Oh yeah. Yeah, he All three he, of them judges is yeah. good judges. Oh yeah, they are. I just Jamie stands out in my mind because I I, I watch him and plus the fact he he was uh he was the one that <laughs> Clancy always tried to oh, yeah. get get mad because Jamie wouldn't take no bull off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, but he uh he just he's a super good guy. Oh yeah, he is. Great Jamie family. Is and he guy. trains both racking and walking. <clears throat> yeah, he goes both. Mm -hmm. He's won several World Grand Championships in yeah. the walking horse. Roy Wester's horse. As a matter of fact, he won the World Grand Championship. Roy Wester was reserved behind him and Roy on both horses. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is good. When you say, how'd you feel? I said, well, my horse beat me. Mm -hmm. Now, that's something. <laughs> my horse beat me. But that, that's what Roy gets oh, to say yeah. that. Now, when you and Jeremy go in against each other, you going to let him have a better horse or are you going to take the... Well, we won't never show against each other. Oh, you ain't? No. We showed one time and I beat him and so we just going to leave it at that. Because you, <laughs> you ain't going to give, give, give him a chance. chance. No, I'm not going to give him a chance. I ain't, ain't believing so you. When we you had, ain't going to give him a chance. When shot. we had Thanksgiving dinner, he won't say, I beat you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over with it's now, It's buddy. over with now. So I ain't believing you ain't giving that guy a shot. No. All right. Well, we're going to go to the Fast Showcase. Hope to see everybody there. I hope to see you. I'm going to have to talk yes. to Jeremy. We'll, we'll figure out a way. <laughs> we'll enter him on the side. <laughs> see y'all next see week. See y'all later. <laughs>